for sale 1979 Chevy C10. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the truck, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 79 C10 finished in factory colors, blue with blue interior. Uh, has been fully restored and is a lifelong Utah truck. Uh, that's where it was sold. New, I have the build sheet for the car as well as the sticker in the glove box, which is always nice to have still. Uh, all steel truck, no rust underneath the truck, no repairs underneath the truck. Uh, it's unmolested truck, unmolested drivetrain, and the restoration was unmolested, which is just a lot of great reasons about why I like the truck. But anyway, you know, point out anything that I do see, tell you everything that I do know about it, fire it up, drive it, and get in for the driving. Uh, so we will start here in the front. Painted bumpers with the classic hubcap steel wheel look on there. Complements very nice with this nice off-white stripe down the side, which is a, uh, a vinyl stick-on. So if you don't like that, you can always peel it off. I think it's kind of nice. It has a little, uh, just a little something to the, to the blue. I feel like it might be too much blue without it. But anyway, anyway, on the painted white bumper, couple stone chips on it. I mean, I, I guess that makes sense. Uh, the quality of the paint is excellent, actually. I mean, it, it's a beautiful quality paint. The body is straight. The finish all the way around and the door jam, stuff like that. Excellent door corners, under doors, door edges, cap corners. Really, really nice. Uh, hood fitment all the way down is the way you want it to be. Uh, just a couple blemishes right on the hood, maybe common kind of a thing. Just a few little pimples right in that section there. Nowhere else, there's not a bubble anywhere else on the truck. Um, and you can see the deep shine that the paint does have. So let me go ahead and pop the hood here. I might have just... Here we go. This is one of the main reasons why I'm telling you it's an unmolested truck. It has its original six-cylinder engine in there. Uh, strong, smooth running, you know, nicely dialed in. Uh, at any point in the last 43 years, they could have pulled it out, threw a small block Chevy in there, threw, you know, a crate motor in there, you know, a big block in there. But they, they kind of left it true to its, uh, I'm going to say colors. You know, we're not talking about the colors, of course, but true to itself with the four-speed on the floor. I think that's really cool. Uh, it just goes with the condition of the truck, the unmolested restoration of the truck. Uh, and, and there you go. But anyway, it's got its jack and its tire iron in there. As much of the jacking instructions as you can keep. This looks nice. As much of this sticker as you can keep in there. It's a power steering, power brake truck as well. And I believe, let me look. It's a power front disc brake truck. I know I'm showing you the floor here, but I'm looking. Yeah, power front disc brake truck as well. All the original paint on the firewall there, which again, that you see, very presentable. Nice, clean, original underhood as well. Um, you'll hear it run when I, when I get to that part of the video. Um, so let's keep going down the side here. The only thing missing is a little bit of the snorkel from here to here. I think that'll be a nice attention to detail thing at some point. Um, but here we go. Look at the, the outer rocker all the way down there. Look at the dimples all the way, all the way back there. I mean, that that's that's quality finish all the way down on the truck on a, on a nice, solid, rust-free truck to begin with. Uh, and the fitment all the way around the truck is as it should be. Finish even in there the way it should be. All the way up, you see some of those dimples in there, even without opening the door. Uh, windshield, well, a little dust because I tested the wipers out, make sure that they were all good. No cracks, there's no cracks on any of the glass, which is always a good thing. Um, fitment of the door all the way down is the way you want to finish, all the way down into the corner there. Your cab corners, all super, super nice. Even the finish, sometimes they'll, slip, they'll skip on the back of the truck. So that's finished the way that the rest of the body is in there, which means that they probably took, even like the back of the bed there, they probably took the bed off to paint the truck. Nice quality job, really, really impressive. Another thing, these big square bodies, the doors always shut kind of weird. That was, that was effortless. 
So anyway, we'll go here. Your factory sticker is still in there. And look at the finish all the way around. This is what I'm talking about here. All the way down into the corner there. This is super nice. Look at these little dimples there, all the way down. They're coming to rust there, or at least get some blistering. There is none. Very impressive. And then here, they didn't skimp out. This paint is super nice as well. The metal all the way down into the corner of the door is super nice, as well as the under doors, which are all fantastic. Uh, to receive new interior, new door panels, new seat covers, which by the way, professionally done, excellent, no rips, of course. The carpet is new, the dash pad is new, and I like the kind of the off light blue that they went with, super nice. Uh, your sliding back window, paint up on the top, which is nice, with the visors. Now let me pop in here. Here's your four speed. Even this might be a replacement because that looks super, super nice. But anyway, here's your build sheet. Sold new at Tony Price Chevrolet in Bountiful, Utah. Here's your sticker from the uh, glove box. You know, sometimes they're, they're taken off and misplaced because it's basically taped on. Nice to have it still. Pretty, pretty much nice options as well. It's a 373 rear. Uh, it's a 4.1 liter, 250 cubic inch power steering it's a deep blue solid I guess that's the correct color I just I just said blue four speed vacuum power brakes fleet side of course I mean you saw that already uh, but of course I'm gonna have a picture of all this on the ad light duty truck manual and then I, I guess this isn't that important but a, but an old uh, repair and tune-up guide you know in case you want to do a couple of things uh, in addition it's a dual gas tank truck there's your switches for it, and they both work, which is pretty dang cool. Again, effortless closing. I love that. I hate to, you gotta slam some of them, but this one's very nice. Uh, the, the bed, and also I would say from here down, has a nice bed liner on it. Quality job. Comes with the spare. The shackles were changed. That's about the only thing from factory, really. Uh, just to lower it down a little bit. Give it a nice driving stance. I have the original ones, of course, if you would like to put that factory stance back back on it. Look at the, the finish here. Oh, and like I said, I haven't been pointing out too many blemishes because there really aren't that many. Um, I would be pointing them out. No bubbles down here. I see a couple little marks right there in the paint, though. And uh, again, I'd like to highlight that the the underneath is very, very nice, outstanding. You know, trucks were ordered back on the day for work, work on farms, stuff like that. They were used. They were kind of beat up. Here's a, uh, an awesome example of a nicely, you know, probably lifelong maintained and well-kept truck. Um, of course, on the bumper, you see a couple little chips on it. It was registered in Utah for, for, for this year. So, you know, the owner planned on uh, enjoying it, wanting it reliable. The reverse lights even work. Don't see that very often on anything. Again, no bubbles, exactly what you want to see. Even finish in the wheel wells all the way around. Awesome. I like the little white wall too on there. It's got that classic look. The classic uh, uh, 
classic car look. I don't know what I wanted to say with that, but like that classic style that you don't see on these kind of trucks too often. And again, the finish in the back, the cab corners. getting to that point where I'm going to start closing up the video, firing it up, and then driving it. I just want to show you some of these more in-depth areas here that you don't always get to see in pictures. <sighs> 79 C10 Custom Deluxe. Finished in blue with blue interior. Unmolested truck, six cylinder, four speed car. Power steering, power front disc brakes. Uh, 373 rear. Build sheet. And your nice st sticker with your options. Always good to see with the trucks as well. Um, so let me wrap up this fender here real quick. Again, effortless. Always a nice thing about when you get a truck, I probably had two or three that closed that easily, like square bodies, going back to the, uh, I, I would say, 68 is the first year, or 67 is the first year. One of the two. There's always difficult to close. Awesome. We are going to fire it up now and then drive it. Thank you. And even the hood shuts nice and easy. Ready when you are.
I bet the power steering feels really nice on this truck. Oh, yeah. The steering and the brakes. Smooth and quiet. They even put, like, the dual exhaust with the cherry. Oh, yeah, that's right. It also has the single exhaust with no, the catalytic converter on it still. No cherry. Which is just, like, another unmolested aspect of the truck. It's a 12 bolt 373. Wow. Is it? Yeah. 12 bolt? I believe it is. This would be an easy one for you to learn. That's what Jimmy told me. I said, nah. No, it's true. Find, I'm gonna try and find out who's it is. It's gotta be ASL. Ask Cal, he knows everything in the building. I was gonna ask, yeah. He knows who leaves the, the spray bottle though. Well, it's me, of course. Every day I leave one. He brings it over. Anything else? Oh, did he ever come back to talk to you yesterday after you? I went over there, he had nothing to say. I know, he didn't. He forgot. Oh. I see, we got the load, we got over. I should go. He's a Python. Yeah.